Hello, my learners. This is Mrs. Herrera. So you hopefully have already read this book ish with me. And now we're going to go back and we're going to use it to help us learn more about beautiful words. In particular, we're looking for how Peter Reynolds, the author, uses words instead of said, he uses some really kind of beautiful words that help convey more meaning than just said or shouted. Those are the typical ones, right? All right, so ish. So as we already read it, I'm going to kind of skip around a little bit. So you know, he loves Ramon. He loves drawing. He draws all over the place. And then his brother, Leon, makes fun of him. And then he doesn't want to draw anymore, which is really sad. Let's see. This one I thought had an interesting word in it that I thought was kind of beautiful. After many months and many crumpled sheets of paper... And last time I think I said pieces of paper. I didn't realize that I made a mistake. I'm glad I, when I read it again, I often fix mistakes that I didn't see the first time. Important to read twice. Okay, so crumpled sheets of paper, and he put his pencil down, I'm done. I like how Peter Reynolds here doesn't just say that Ramon gave up. He doesn't just say that. He kind of shows you with his beautiful words. So let's see, what does he say here? This is going to be like the showing... not telling. So here he crumpled up the paper. Crumpled up and put his pencil down. That's how you're showing what's going on in the story, not just telling it. It's much more interesting that way. Okay. Then Marisol comes in and he's being all mean to her because he's angry from his brother, right? And he says, what do you want? He snapped. That's better than said. Snapped. That's like, ugh. And you say it fast and you say it mean. Snapped. Have you ever snapped at someone? Hopefully you're not snapping at your family members right now. Okay, I was watching you draw, she said. And then Ramon sneered. Show me your best sneer. Ugh, I'm disgusted by you. I sneer. Okay. Sneered. And I'm not a very good speller, so sometimes I use the book to help me to double check. I couldn't remember if it was E-A or E-E, -E, so I looked before I wrote it. Sneered. Ramon sneered at her and said he's not drawing for her to go away. But she remember she picked up that crumpled sheet of paper. It's interesting because he was throwing away the crumples. And she's picking up the crumples. They have different ideas about what crumpled paper could be. And this is one of my favorite parts. He sees that she highly values the stuff that he was throwing away that he thought wasn't good enough. But she, she sees it in a different light. She sees it and thinks it's beautiful. So now what was crumpled up with his pencil down, which means he gave up. Now it's a crumpled gallery. What does that tell you? A crumpled gallery. They've changed how it means and what, how it says it. Crumpled gallery is now it's valuable. But Peter Reynolds didn't just say he gave up and she thinks it's valuable. He used words that really help you see it. And then she's talking about her favorites, which is the one that kind of looks like a vase. And that's when she does the vase-ish. And she exclaimed. She just didn't just say, she didn't shout, she exclaimed. That's a really good way of saying it, like, oh my gosh, I'm saying it like this because it's really important to me. Mm -hmm. And then he says, vase-ish, and he looks closer, and he studies all the stuff on her wall, and he begins to see them in a whole new way. I love that. I think that's something you could do, look at things in a whole new way. So then he's just so excited. He is thrilled. He is light and energized. I like that. Light and energized. Light and energized. So 
So it's not saying that he's excited or happy. He's light and energized. And he just starts drawing and drawing and drawing freely. Loose lines without worry. And then he starts to draw the world around him. I'm thinking like what's around him and how he felt. All those different things. He even started doing some feelings. It's hard to draw feelings because they're not something you can touch. But he found a way to represent them in art. He's inspired. His writing. Oh, I love that. He starts writing kind of poems. I've done that before. Have you ever had that happen to you? Do you have a personal connection? For me, I always thought poems would be really hard. But then I started just saying, you know, I'll do my best. Maybe the poem-ish. And then I was able to write some. One spring morning, he had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even ish words and ish drawings couldn't, could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savored it. I like that word, capture. Capture it. That means he didn't try and draw it and do a picture of it. He didn't try to capture it. And he savored it. I love that. savored it. Have you ever had that like when someone makes some really delicious food and you just instead of gobbling it up you savor it slowly and enjoy it? That's what he's doing. Instead of gobbling up the moment or trying to even record the moment he just sits and savors it and appreciates the beauty. So let's see in this lovely book about ish some of the words they said instead of said was snapped like ah, duh. sneered like oh you're ridiculous and exclaimed because she was so excited. Maybe in your writing you can use some of those words instead of said. And then some of um, the showing not telling that Peter Reynolds does in Ish is crumpled up and penciled down instead of saying gave up. And then later it's a crumpled gallery, which means it's now valuable. And then when he was feeling really excited and really happy, he said it was light and energized. And then at the end, when he saw this beautiful moment and this beautiful feeling, instead of capturing it and drawing a picture, he savored it. So if you are going to be doing things like this, I want you to be thinking about drawing and writing and living ishly too, and using some of these beautiful words and in your writing, showing things instead of telling them. See how that goes. Bye-bye.